Happy day children. Welcome to the next session of grade 6 science chapter 2 components of food. In this session we are going to discuss about the role of nutrients and balanced diet. Carbohydrates mainly provide energy to our body. Fats also give us energy. Foods containing fats and carbohydrates are called as energy giving foods. Proteins are needed for the growth and repair of our body. Foods that are rich in proteins are called as bodybuilding food. Vitamins and minerals help in protecting our body against diseases. Vitamins and minerals together are called as protective foods. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates provide 50 to 80 percentage of the energy we need. Sugars, starch and cellulose are examples of carbohydrates. These are made by plants during photosynthesis. Sugars are simple carbohydrates. They provide quick energy to the body. Starch is a complex carbohydrate. The energy from starch is released more slowly. Cellulose is also a complex carbohydrate. It is very tough, which is why plants are often difficult to chew. Cooking softens the cellulose and makes plant matter edible. Cereals like wheat, rice and maize and vegetables like potato and tapioca are rich sources of carbohydrates. Fats. We get more energy from fats than from carbohydrates. Fats are important for two main reasons. Fats are stored mainly under the skin. We use fats to get energy when carbohydrates are not available. Thus, Fats work as the body's energy bank. The fat under the skin acts as an insulator and thus helps to keep the body warm. Fats are present in both animal and plant foods. Butter and ghee are animal fats and are solid at room temperature. Fats obtained from plants, on the other hand, are liquids at room temperature. For example, corn oil, groundnut oil, mustard oil, etc. Proteins. Proteins form the main structure of our body. They help in growth and bodybuilding and also in repairing worn out or damaged tissues. Some kinds of proteins help in controlling the activities inside the body. These proteins are called enzymes. Proteins are of two kinds, animal proteins and plant proteins. Meat, milk, fish, eggs are animal sources of proteins. Dal varieties, beans, pulses, groundnuts, dry fruits are examples of plant sources of proteins. Vitamins. Vitamins are substances that are required in very small amount in our body. Although they have no energy value, they are very important for the body. Vitamins protect our body against diseases. They keep our body healthy and also help in the smooth functioning of the body. They are known by the letters A, B, C, D, E and K. In fact, vitamin B complex is a group of vitamins. Some vitamins are soluble in water while the other vitamins are soluble in fat. Each vitamin is found in a particular kind of food and has a specific function. Minerals. Minerals are substances found in soil and water. These minerals are taken up by plants, which in turn are eaten by animals. 
each mineral has a specific function to perform in the body. For example, iron helps in the formation of hemoglobin. Calcium helps in strengthening of bones and teeth. And iodine controls the functioning of thyroid gland. Sodium is required for the proper functioning of nervous system. Minerals are needed in small quantities for optimal health. Each mineral is found in a particular kind of food. Roughage and water. Besides these nutrients like carbohydrates, fats and proteins, vitamins and minerals, our body needs dietary fibers and water. Dietary fibers are also known as roughage. Roughage is mainly provided by plant products in our food. Whole grains, pulses, potatoes, fresh fruits and vegetables are main sources of roughage. Roughage does not provide any nutrient to our body, but is an essential component of our food and adds to its bulk. This helps our body to get rid of undigested food. Water. Water helps our body to absorb nutrients from food. It also helps in throwing out some waste from body as urine and sweat. Normally, we get most of the water that our body needs from the liquids we drink. In addition to this, we add water to most of the cooked foods. Balanced diet. Each individual's dietary requirement is different. For example, an energetic person needs more carbohydrate and a growing child needs more protein. A diet that contains all the important nutrients in the right amount is called a complete or balanced diet. If a diet consists of a single or very few food items, then the diet will be unbalanced no matter what the food is because no single food contains all the nutrients we need in the right proportion for us to be healthy. So a balanced diet must contain food from each of the food group. In addition to this, there should be enough water and roughage. The diet should be planned so that the body gets sufficient amount of each nutrient as well as roughage and water. Eating the right kind of food is not enough. It should also be cooked properly so that its nutrients are not lost. Do you know that even washing vegetables will destroy some of the nutrients present in it? Yes, but we can't be without washing the vegetables or cooking it. So what to do? We shouldn't Wash the vegetables after cutting or peeling them. It may result in the loss of some vitamins. The skins of many vegetables and fruits contain vitamins and minerals. And many useful proteins and considerable amount of minerals are lost if excess water is used during cooking and is then thrown away. Similarly, repeated washing of rice and pulses may remove some vitamins and minerals present in them. Wasn't it interesting and fascinating children to know about the role of nutrients and balanced diet? In the next session, we will learn about some diseases which may affect us if we don't take proper nutritious food. Thank you.